Why do you want to talk about Terry DeMarco? Well, I just realized that I was ranting on and on about her the other day, practically accused her of helping Annie fake her own death. Yeah, you were. You were giving her a pretty tough time. Yeah, and I didn't have any real proof. No, you didn't. Believe me, I don't like talking about Annie any more than you do. I don't think I like where this is going. I mean, I realize that you're just trying to protect me, and I appreciate that, but I don't think I can go on living our lives knowing that Annie might still be out there. Reva, yeah. And I, I'm not going off half-cocked anymore. That's why I went out of town to get some concrete evidence. Evidence of what? I know I told you that I went to Chicago to do some shopping, but that wasn't exactly truthful. Then where did you go? To Detroit. To meet with Terry's brother, George. What? what? Reva, I can't believe you would do something well, like you that. You know what? what I found out? No, not? I don't. Well, that's too bad because I'm going to tell you. It seems that George, Terry's brother, noticed that she was acting a little strange right before she moved here. I mean, she distanced herself from the family. She, she didn't call on Thanksgiving, and she forgot her mother's birthday. None of that sounds like it's well, your business. Now, just wait. There's more. George also told me that Terry's always had a problem meeting men, and he found it very strange that she's been involved with so many in the short time that she's been here in Springfield. She has not been involved with a lot of men while she's been... Why would you even say something like that? How did I ever let Josh get out of control? Well, knowing you, you probably just got impatient. You're right. I mean, the doctor said a mega dose of this drug could cause somebody to become obsessive. You should have listened. Yeah, you just had to find out for yourself, right, Annie? Terry, Dinah, remember, please? Oh, right, sorry. I mean, what was I supposed to do? Just stand back and, and let the guy I'm supposed to be with fall all over Riva? I mean, it was like a different type of torture every day. Yeah, I know, I know, I've been there. I know you have. And that's why I like to talk to you, because you understand, you get it. You know why I had to put so much of that drug into his aftershave. Why don't you just take the aftershave away? You know, I thought of that. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Well, that's great. Why don't you do that and fill me in on the details later? I mean, Josh is at work right now. Reva's away from the house. I'll just, I'll break in. I'll dump the aftershave. I get out. Josh is back in my control. Good, good. That's good. What if it's too late, though? What if he's already started talking? I told him everything. And why'd you tell him everything? You're crazy? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I shouldn't have, but I, I also told him he was only going to remember what I told him to. Oh, so now you think he sprung a leak? Sprung a leak? This guy is remembering things he is definitely not supposed to remember, things that could ruin my life. You know, and I'm so tired of it. Nothing is ever easy for me. I have to work, work, work. Everything oh, I do Terry, is just please, hard. please, can you just stop for a second? I mean, do you ever listen to yourself? What are you talking about? You are the most self-centered person in the universe. And you're just realizing that now? I mean, what do you think, that I came here to get my temperature taken? Do you realize that this is one of the most important days of my entire life? So? So, I'm waiting for a doctor to come in here and tell me whether or not I'm going to get my life back, whether I'm going to be me again, and you won't shut up. You keep blathering on about Josh Lewis. You're going to be fine. I don't understand what the problem is. <laughs> the problem is that I'm scared, you know? You don't... <laughs> You're just acting like it's no big deal. I, like I said, I don't understand what the problem is, Dinah. You got your man, you got the ring, you won. That's it, you got everything. Now Josh on the other... I don't care about Josh! I don't care! And if I won, then how come Hart and I, since we've gotten back together, haven't made love once? Yeah, you know, my life is really perfect. I've got everything that I could ever wish for. Except for a whole face. <laughs> um, I mean, what, do you think this is perfect? <sighs> so, Hart won't make love to you? No, he won't. We sleep in the same bed, but we might as well be in different area codes. I'm sorry, oh. Dinah. That's... I'm yeah. I'm really sorry. You should be sorry. It's very pathetic. Ever since we broke up, I've been dreaming about being back together with him and living in his house and sleeping in his bed, and... There I am, but he just treats me like a pal, not a wife. Well, have you tried seducing him? Uh, yeah. Pretty much every night, you know? Every night's a different sexy negligee. And you don't get any response at all? No. He gets in bed and he just 
turns away from me immediately. And if in the middle of the night he should accidentally touch me, he apologizes and then he just turns back over again. Okay, that hurts. Yeah, it's pretty much killing me. I... I've never heard you talk like this before. Dinah, never. And it sounds way too defeatist. Well, you know, I feel like things are out of my control at this point. If this doctor can't fix me, then I'm gonna end up living the rest of my life like this. You know, I, I really believe that you are finally starting to learn something. There is always something you can do. Always, you just have to use the situation a little bit better, you know what I mean? No, I don't, what do you mean? Dinah, you're the damsel in distress, right? What guy can resist that? I mean, wasn't that the whole point of your little homemade fire? Vanessa, don't tell me you've started to worry about your age. I was making a joke, really. Oh, oh once is a joke. Twice in two minutes. That, 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 that's a pointed statement. It was nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, come on, you can tell me. I'm past puberty. <laughs> It's Beth. She's been taking some pot shots at me recently. About your age? Try. You're old enough to be Matt's mother. No, she actually said that. Why? Because she's after my husband. Beth? Yes. You can't be serious. I'm very serious. She's changed, Alex. She's really, really changed. She's just latched on to him. Latched on? Yes. Everywhere he is, there she is. And I'm really jealous. You have never been the jealous type. I know. I know. I just, she just gets under my skin. I mean, what can I, what can I say? I, I even accused her of being the stalker. Now I'm over that, but I hate her. Oh boy, oh boy, and here I make you work eyeball to eyeball with her. Vanessa, I'm so sorry. If it's, I had... no, it's okay. That's work and, and I can handle the work thing. I can, it's just, I guess she hits me where I'm vulnerable, even though, I mean, I, I know that, you know, Matt loves me, I, I, and it's, you know, it's not a real threat. Right, right. Well, that's good. That's a good attitude. Well, is the age thing any kind of problem between you and Matt? No. Never has been. It's never been an issue. And I'm certainly not about to make it one. It's just that... I find myself looking into the mirror more and more. Oh, Vanessa, don't do that to yourself. Take it from me. No, no. And each mm. time I do, I see another line. Oh, nonsense. You look incredible for your age. So do I. <laughs> I could have stopped myself before that one, couldn't I? <laughs> At least you didn't say I was well-preserved. And on the other hand, we have Beth the Blonde, Beth the Beautiful, Beth the Young. Oh, come on. V Vanessa, Matt is in love with you. Now, trust me, Beth is no contest for you. There's no contest there. Well, good morning, ladies. Um, the car is ready to take us to the office. Oh, no, Alan, thanks very much. Uh, I can't do that. I've got to go meet... Oh, what's... Wait a minute. Huh. Yeah. Oh, hi, Wanda. Really? Uh-huh. Nope. Nope, that's fine. Thanks. Yep, bye. What did Wanda say? Well, Lewis is not going to renew the Triple Z land lease. It's ours if we want it. But that's wonderful. We have wanted that land for longer than I can remember. Wait, Alex, something's not right here. Josh would never give up that land without a fight. He knows that's the only thing separating us from taking total expansion of the Southwest. Now, if we have that land, we control all the roads that Lewis Oil needs for distribution. All right, I don't know what Vanessa said or did, but it turned around somehow. I didn't do anything. I just passed on our bid. Here. Let me see that. I don't like this. Look, Alan, I've got to go. I've got to go be with Dinah. I'll talk about it later. All right, with you, all right. Okay? Don't worry, I'll take care of everything. All right. Alan, do you know what this means to us to yeah. have that last? Yes, this means that Josh has either lost his mind or he's got something up his sleeve. I didn't mean that she's been sleeping with a lot of guys. I meant that she's been involved with a couple. That's a stretch, Reva. Well, she told us about Frank, and he's a married man. But nothing happened. 
They're partners. They work together. He developed a small crush on her. That certainly is not her fault. So you don't think she might have encouraged Frank's you know feelings something? just a little bit? I don't want to talk about this. Okay, well then forget about Frank. What about Alan? She certainly didn't waste any time bagging the richest guy in town. You don't know that they're together. She was at Philip's wedding. You saw the way they were dancing together. You think Alan and Terry are a couple? Who cares? Do you? No. Of course not. You're the one that brought it up. So you don't think she has a way with men? I don't even know what that means. The way she sucks them in. I mean, first Frank, then Alan, and now you. Me. Well, she's certainly desperate to have you as a friend. A friend? You think that's what she wants from me? She falls all over you, practically, with all that buddy-buddy stuff.